Good morning everyone! Thank you for visiting my channel. For those who are new to my channel, this is Garden Elegance by Abby, where I share my love for arts and my passion for plants. Today, I'm featuring this elegantly brunt succulent named Crassula ovata variegata, or variegated jade plant. It is a beautiful succulent shrub with attractive green leaves, striped in creamy white or pale yellow, and flush with pink edges when exposed in bright sun. I'm going to show you today on how to multiply this beauty through stem cuttings. So these are the cuttings I harvested a few days ago and I air dried them for 3 days and this is how they look like now. We will start with a fresh well draining soil. I will plant them on this shallow planter to root them and I make sure that I put spaces in between to give them room to grow. This succulent is also known as tricolor jade, variegated dollar plant, or a variegated money tree. They are slow growing succulents and will take time to mature. Variegated succulents takes longer to grow than normal propagation because they have less chlorophyll. All leaves on any plants have chlorophyll, a pigment that's responsible for the plant's ability to absorb light in order to provide energy for photosynthesis. But when chlorophyll and the other pigments are unevenly distributed, it creates a variegation. If you want to preserve the variegation on your plant, make sure to give them sufficient sunlight. I will use this ceramic pot and put water on it to root the rest of the cuttings. Now we're all set and we'll just wait for a few weeks and see how they grow. Four weeks have passed by so quickly and now we're gonna check on how they look like. Their oval leaves are still thick, fleshy, and shiny. I watered them twice a week and I gave them indirect sunlight for the last four weeks. Now let's check their root system and see how much they've grown. They have rooted successfully in the span of four weeks. Even the nodes are sprouting some new roots now. However, this kind of succulent has a small root system and therefore does not need a large pot to grow. They can grow up to 4 feet tall and branch out like a small tree when planted on the ground. Jade plants prefer average temperatures of 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's check our water propagated stem cuttings. Most of the cuttings have rooted but there's one cutting that did not grow any roots. But despite of not growing any roots, the leaves remain looking healthy. Once you have successfully rooted your cuttings, you can now move your plant to a pot with soil. You are now introducing your water propagated succulent to a new environment. So make sure to monitor them closely and do not give them direct sunlight yet. They are still very fragile and their leaves can easily get sunburned. 
Make sure that their newly grown roots are well buried in the soil. Once they establish their new roots on the soil, make sure to start giving them enough sunlight. Lack of sunlight can cause a variegated plant to lose its variegation. If your plant's variegation is fading, move it to a sunnier spot. In this way, it can prevent further variegation loss and might restore the plant's original variegation. Variegated leaves can over time go through a process called reversion, and it occurs in many types of variegated plants. Once the loss of variegation has happened, it cannot be reversed. I hope you learned something today. This is all for now, and I'll see you next time.